So for those of you that have been watching the videos uh, that came out last week, this week we're doing one one last quad lock video um, from the set of things that quad lock sent us. Uh, and this is the uh, quad lock suction windshield dash mount. Now they were nice enough to send it with the mag wireless charging head because uh, for those that watch the channel, you know that we just picked ourselves up a a new car for us, not brand new, but a new car for us. Uh, and we were like, hey, is it possible for us to get one of these to try it in our car because we don't have a way to mount, mount, our, mount our phone? And they said, yeah. So uh, again, for those of you that watch my motorcycle riding videos and the videos that came out last week, you'll know that I use the quad lock case and all the quad lock mounts on my motorcycle, my wife's motorcycle, uh, we have them all over the place because it's just so nice having a ecosystem that you can just kind of move your products around without having to take the case off and change it, right? Plus, I think quad lock is probably one of the best uh, case designs with security for riding uh, that you can get. Plus, they have all kinds of accessories to, you know, with motorcycle, like vibration dampening, et cetera, et cetera. They have all that kind of cool stuff. So... This right here is actually part of their 360 line, which kind of means that you can pick a case, pick the mount, pick the the pieces, and you kind of build your own kit, which is really cool. So you'll see on their website here, right? Uh, this is the car suction mount. It says, yep. Now it says, if you want, pick a, pick a head because the mount itself comes in at like $50, right? Cool. And you can, as you see in the picture, mount this onto the windshield which may be where I put it, I'm not 100% sure. All right, windshield. Or you can mount it uh, right there, right, on the dash. I actually, that's kind of cool. I think you'd have to have a windshield that's close, but you can mount it in that orientation if you so choose. Because uh, they do say dash mount, there we go. Now, make sure if you are installing this on your dash, you want to make sure that your dash isn't like crazy textured, because it is really textured. It may be something that, um, you have a, a tough time getting it on there. Now, as you can see here, they do have this piece. And I think that piece may be something you can stick on your dash so that this has the ability to suction to it. So it has a nice flat, um, smooth surface. Anyways, $50 to start, right? And again, if you're in the quad lock ecosystem, this is a great add-on. If you're not, you should be. Um, and then you can come in here and say pick a head. So you can do no no head, mag head, wireless charging head, mag wireless charging head. And that's the one we're going to go to, right? It's the, it talk, talks about security. So I think that's it. Mag wireless head, because that's mag, right? Wireless head. That's the one we got. Click. And you jump up to $99. Uh, I think at some point in time, you may be able to say, yeah, quad lock case required. So you can add... Um, or, or maybe you can't add it, but you can add a case to your, to your order if you need to, cause you do need, right? You need, you need a case, a quad lock case. And if you're buying the mag one, you need a mag quad lock case for it to function, right? So you could add this to cart and you'd be good to go. Anyways, uh, this, this is, this is it here. Yes. So that's a pretty, pretty hefty little box. You guys can see, right? Every day cycles, motos, I have car. So now we've got, we've got all three. We've got all three. We've got multiple of the motorcycle ones. So this, this is coming out. Yes. And yes, it's 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 definitely got it's got some substance to it, right? Oh, it does. See, yeah, nice. It does come with a base, so that's good. So you can stick this. Now, if you are sticking this on your car, my recommendation, of course, would be stick this on your car before you do anything. Make sure this surface is clean before you do anything. Uh, let this sit on your dash or whatever for at least, you know, overnight, right? One full day, 12 hours, 24 hours, so that it, this, this sticky can really ad adhes adhesive adhe adhese itself to there because you don't want this popping off, right? But that's going to give you that nice smooth surface, which is what this can, can connect into, right? And then this, of course, is the kind of the release because you lift this up, it's going to get some air in there, which is going to pop the suction. And this, this is this suction. Oh, it's dang. oh yeah, that's got some, that's got some su suction. It's got some force to it. 
Because that's the other thing, right? You just got your phone on there and your phone's not inexpensive. So you want to make sure that it has that ability. And this basically, as you guys can see here, right? This goes on and then it is you, right. You see that it goes on on like the 45 and then you just pop. Now, unlike the motorcycle ones, the motorcycle ones have like a release thing because the motorcycle is vibrating, right? And you're all over the place. You're leaning, you're doing all kinds of stuff. So this one though, once it's in there, it's, it's just a simple turn to get it off. So once that's mounted and it's on your dash, you can mount it this way, or you can put it on this way. It's really up to you. And then, uh, as they showed, you can mount it so that it sits on your dash this way, or as they showed, I don't know. How did they do that other one? They, 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 I get maybe, maybe they undid it. I'm um, maybe, is that a thing Did they, did they undo it because they had it even here, right? So they have it like that on the winch. Oh, that's right. Cause they had it on the windshield pointing down. So this, depending on how your windshield is, you guys can see it there. It is still stuck to the windshield, but it does this down, right? So got it. What would be cool. And I don't think it's possible. But it would be cool if you could kind of undo this whole thing and then put this arm in so that it was just kind of upside down and then you could stick it to your dash, but the arm would now come down this way and it doesn't have to be stuck to your windshield. Because I would think that that makes it very particular on where this has to go. But if you were someone that wanted it kind of right in the center of your car, but not obstructing any view, but your windshield is way back here, this would be nice to be able to spin around. Yes. So that it mounts down on your dash. Just saying quad lock. I'm, I'm here for you. I'm trying to give you all the benefits. Now, the other thing too, is as far as I can tell this piece here, that allows this to shift a little around, move around, and then you just kind of snug it right back up, but it's well built. You know, it's really well built. You know, once you get that in, in position, that's not going to move anywhere. Now this piece here, this piece here, uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but that's going to come off nice and simple. And if you do decide to go with one of these, uh, what you'll see in here, right, right there, there's a screw. So usually what happens is that this kind of screws into that plate so that you and I can tear this box apart. You and I can, uh, put the wireless charger on it. I'm not opening up this very nice. It's not as if I'm going to keep the box, right? So again, there's your wireless charging here. There's your warranty. There it is. There's that screw I was talking about. Yes. Yes. So it's a longer screw than what's in there. And here was my hope and my hope. Uh, it's too bad. Oh no, it did. I was like, oh, that's sad. I was like, I hope they give me an Allen key and they do give me an Allen key. And which is also really good because the other things I got last week were USB-C to USB-C, but most cars, cause this is a car charger. Yes. Um, uh, have USB-A in them unless it's like a new car. So it is USB-C, which is going to go into the charging head and USB-A, which is going to go into the actual vehicle. Right? So sweet. Simply we're going to just take this off. So this. Und, und, undoes, undoes, right? Bear with me. And what you and I will probably see here is this kind of the size difference, right? Yeah. So if you look at, this was the screw that was in it. This is the new screw. So you are getting a longer screw because it has to go through two pieces, right? So do you need this anymore? No, you can take that and put that, put that wherever, right? This though, you have, and then you can just kind of, it's got, maybe you can see it. It's got these little teeth here and it's got teeth on this one. So this basically just aligns where you want it. Aligns where you want it. So you just make sure I'm going to make sure my quad lock is definitely sitting, sitting straight, you know, so that it looks good when there's nothing on it. I think that's straight somewhere, somewhere there straight straightish enough because I think the next one is too far. Yeah, right there. Take our screw. Yes. Get it in there. No more dropping now. Super good. Right. And then this goes elsewhere. Now what I would do 
just in case, is I would keep these somewhere, put them in the box, whatever, so that down the road, whatever, you need another one, you know, you, you got it. It's a, it's a spare, right? That snugs on there, nice. That's your new charging head. And you will see down here at the bottom, there's that USB-C, right? So that's gonna just plug in there. This is now gonna be able to charge my phone. And this, of course, just goes on like it did before. Just make sure that it's, oh, this one, just so you know, ah, oh, see, so this one, this one, unlike, unlike the other one, this one, see how this one has, there's a, there's a, if you can see it there, there's a ridge, yes? See the ridge so it locks? This one doesn't lock. And you can tell too, maybe you can tell. See how this, the quad lock has the, the where the pieces that lock, they're on like the 45s. That's not right. Yeah, the 45s. Whereas on this one, the locks were on like the 12, 12, six, three and nine, right? So this one, when you got your phone on, it spun to lock. This one, because it has magnets in it, just sits like that. Still gonna be secure because it can't go up and down when it's on here because it's it's in this groove. Um, and the magnets are gonna keep it down, so you still have to like lift it out. Yes? Good to know. Uh, well, I'm gonna go mount this in my car. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. So uh, this is the quad lock car kit. Uh, with the mag safe, I would think, or with the mag wireless charging head, I would think if you got like just the normal wireless charging head, see most secure twist lock attachment. And you can see on these ones, right? When you click on it, if it's a little low, you can see where the, it's the plus versus the X, right? So cool. Anyways, uh, I'll give you, I'll give you, we'll, we'll continue the video when I'm outside in the car, just to show you, show you how it works. All right, so just a quick update. We actually have it mounted in the car now. We've actually been using it, or I've been using it for the last couple of days. Uh, the suction is really, really strong. Um, it doesn't necessarily have uh, maybe as much of the flexibility, I think, that some other car mounts would be in regards to mounting options, because there are some mounts that give you an arm that you can like extend so that if you do want to mount it far back on your windshield for instance if you have a windshield that is like slanted and it's deep um you know you don't necessarily want your phone up really high but you don't want it down low because maybe it's it's going to be too far forward so i would like to see possibly something like that uh implemented maybe in a future update but for me it mounted just fine. I have it where my window is. It's kind of in line with the dash, as you can see here. But that is something to kind of be aware of, depending on where you want to mount this. Um, in regards to the suction of the mount itself, awesome. That's probably one of the strongest uh, suction mounts that I've used. Um, and, of course, uh, it, it's just secure mounting of your phone on it because it uses the quad lock you know vibrations are pretty much up and down and because of the way that it's going to mount onto the actual quad lock mount it limits that so it takes it away so that even though it's only mounted with a magnet uh, it is not going to allow the phone to slip up or down left or right or anything like that so for me in my car Perfect. Uh, again, because we use the quad lock ecosystem on the majority of our uh, vehicles, it's a great addition. All right, guys, I'll leave links down to quad lock if you're interested. And um, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and I will see you fine folks tomorrow. Later.